I am really excited about the new Mass Metropolis setup. I love ceiling structures because the ceiling is often really not utilized in um, mice cages and mice tanks. People just don't really think of using the space, but why not? This is the easiest thing ever. If you could just get a hold of these cup hot beverage holders that you can get at Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts, they are excellent. I grabbed their regular pellets and I wrapped them up with the most wonderful thing ever that you should be hoarding obsessively, which is phone book paper. It is made with soy ink and is completely safe for your mice. So I wrapped this up um, and then they nibbled through and got to the, to the food. You can see they were nibbling. Never be giving pellets bare again. The, the feeling of nibbling through just to a food source and then eating it is very, very natural for a mouse. And I think it's just a lot of fun. The next two levels here are nice and wobbly. It's really not a, not a challenge for them at all. It's something to let them use those little stabilizing muscles. This foraging wall I created almost entirely out of pieces of cardboard. In the cardio room, I set them up so that you can um, easily hop from one wheel to the next. Um, which I saw Happy doing just last night. I like this system because I just gl hot glue gun the saucers onto a clean piece of cardboard and I don't worry about it and then when it gets dirty, and it doesn't get dirty that fast, I just peel it off very easily, pops right out, and I put a new piece of cardboard on there. Here I put a new nest box. There's an internal box with a, with this is a, a, a ladder um, with slatted uh, sticks inside so that they can climb up really quickly and so this thing goes into the internal box the internal box has several exits around it and then um, which makes a corridor a nice corridor um, between the internal box and the external box you always want to have it elevated so that their feet have lots and lots of grip on the on the steps butterscotch is demonstrating this back foraging wall right now you can see here a series of tubes each one it's difficult to see but you can see that there's this, the way it works there's like a few long ones in the back and a few long one up there that you can't see and then uh, out of there sticks out tubes in this direction towards us those simple cardboard pieces that they have to navigate and figure out and memorize and chase their follow their noses to, to chase the treats and the food um, the, the quality of, if you're looking at just the quality of life for your captive mousie, um, it's a significant improvement. 